What really went on between Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant? While seeing actors portraying couples on the big screen, one would never guess that the two do not get along well with one another. While the two appear to be enjoying themselves while filming together, in front of the camera, the polar opposite may be happening behind the scenes. Co-stars are known to have their disagreements, but it produces significant strain on the set when the line is crossed. In other instances, the colleagues cannot resolve their disputes, even years after they first appeared on the same stage together. Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant, who co-starred in the top-rated romantic comedy Notting Hill, were some of the most beloved Hollywood couples that had a proper falling out behind the scenes. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing what really went on between Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant. Yeah, you heard it right, so let's get started with our video. Grant had a lot to say about Roberts during the film's creation. In addition, some of it has been downright vicious. Since its release, the film has been described as a romantic comedy and touching narrative that has left audiences wanting more. When Hugh Grant made the joke that he intended to make a sequel in which he and Julia Roberts' characters, William and Anna, went through a terrible divorce when marketing the picture, it sheds light on what he thought of Julia Roberts. There doesn't appear to be the best off-screen chemistry between the actors who were appreciated on film. Many people are curious about what happened between Roberts and the crew during filming, given all its talk. When Notting Hill was released in 1999, moviegoers flocked to the theaters to see Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts on screen romance. On the other hand, Hugh Grant wasn't a significant admirer of the picture, and he aired his disgust with it in an interview. Hugh thought Julia might be a bit of a diva at times and didn't particularly like their kissing sessions. In hindsight, things may have turned out differently if Nicole Kidman had been cast in Hugh Grant's role as the charming leading male. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, the actress stated that she had hoped to portray Anna but was never really considered for the job. Not his favorite leading lady Actors Grant has worked with include Sandra Bullock, Renee Zellweger, and Sarah Jessica Parker. With Sandra and Sarah Jessica, he has stated unequivocally that they were his favorites. The two of them didn't get along well at the beginning of their relationship. On the set, things were tense between the two of them. Julia, to be honest, wasn't blown away by the film, and Julia herself has endorsed this point of view. Julia, this way, She said that when she sat down to read the screenplay, she had no tremendous hopes. Furthermore, Grant has stated that he thought she was acting like a real-life diva, the tremendous Hollywood actress who came to England to complete with her entourage. This did not help when she insisted on ever-increasing cash to complete the picture. Her salary increased from $10 million to $15 million throughout the movie. No one made Hugh Grant more dissatisfied than her. Those kissing scenes were awkward. Hugh Grant, the king of romantic comedies, has also had his opinion on who should win the prize for the most excellent snogging actress. Renee Zellweger is the clear winner, according to him. While filming the Bridget Jones's Diary love rivalry, he and Colin Firth admitted to a competition to see who could sleep with Renee better than the other. Grant feels that Firth was trying too hard. Julia, on the other hand, the love scenes with Hugh she's been relatively open about, noting that it was tough to film because her mouth is so broad. During an appearance on Andy Cohen's Watch What Happens Live in 2015, Grant said she might kill him for saying that, but the kissing sequences were not all that fantastic since she has such a wide mouth. A tiny echo was heard when he kissed her, he continued. Andy then inquired whether or not Roberts had remained in touch with him. He said, no, I'm sorry to say say that, perhaps, but I probably made too many jokes about her mouth being too big. She may despise me by this point. The two fell out for a while, but they've made up for a lost time. Not only kissed and made up, but reconciled. Nicole Kidman wanted the part there is something unique about Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant's relationship. A few exchanges between Hugh and Nicole, one of which has to do with Notting Hill, have resulted from their present appearance on HBO series The Undoing, in which the two are now starring. After talking with Nicole about her role as Lucille Ball, Nicole brought up the subject of Notting Hill, revealing that she would have liked to have played the character. When asked how close she was to earning the part, Nicole responded, I'm near. I was getting tight in my brain. However, I was never considered for the position. She came out with the truth. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how today's video was. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more amazing celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.